Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well, as always. Don't worry, it looks a little bit different, but this is cool. I quite like it. I haven't got a film today. I was talking to my friend Tim, who is very kindly behind the camera. We were talking about my ribs, right? Remember I made them seven years ago? Let's roll back the years. I'm kind of in heaven right now. Mmm. So we're just on our way to the drive-thru to see if you can get a McRib. Do you still do a McRib? No. Ah, oh, right, okay. Do you know if they're ever coming back, or...? Not what I know of. Okay. Sorry about that. That's all right. I'm gutted. That gives me incentive for this video today. So the deal was, if I could not get hold of McRib, I was going to have to film a video, so hence the whole reason for this video right now. So this is my five, maybe six or seven, ingredient McRib in a flash. Five ingredients you need. One, an onion. You have raw onions in a McRib. Some bread rolls. These are some brioche ones I got hold of. The only rolls I can find are these brioche ones, which means they're more expensive. They're kind of flash, but they'll do. Some good quality barbecue sauce. This sauce has never let me down. Sweet baby rays. Pickled gherkins, aka pickles. They're things that you've only ever tasted if you grew up eating McDonald's like me. And last but not least, some good quality pork mince. This is where we're gonna make our pork patties. Little dish cloth, chopping board. Non-slip, baby. It's actually slipping. <laughs> what? Just give it another fold. Don't do it, don't do it. Mince goes down, oh yeah. So, we're gonna season this first of all with uh, ingredients six and seven, aka pug seasoning, the best seasoning. All right, so use your roll for reference because all rolls comes in different shapes and sizes. I'm gonna put it there. It's time to make our patties. All right, so we're working that pug seasoning in there. If it doesn't fall apart. Grab yourself some baking parchment and a tray because we are gonna form our patties on it. Now comes the moldy bit. Grab your brain. It doesn't look like a brain, right? Brains! <laughs> and use your roll just to one side as reference to make your patty. And the ribs used to actually be shaped like ribs. I'm not going for that. We're just going to go for that long kind of look. So what I think I'll do is I'll probably make a couple of different size ones because that way we know one will fit, won't we? And then this video will be a success. I'm going a little bit thinner on that one. Just going to play around with it. If you wanted to get it super fine, you could like gently roll it with a rolling pin, but we're going rustic and that is going in the fridge for a good hour. If you can keep it in the fridge for longer than that, it helps to firm up even more. Even the freezer will do it, all right? See in a bit. When it comes to the bread roll, we're gonna toast it, so we just need to halve it. Grab yourself a pan, light it up, and toast away to a golden brown. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Check that out. Toasty. Gherkins, like little witch's fingers, aren't they? That's way too many that I need. I'm raining in pickles. <laughs> Just about to get the patties out, but let's get our pan ready. We're gonna lubricate it with some oil. Here we go. Down we go. Get it warm. Pan's nice and hot. I actually don't know which one to go for. Tim, what do you think I should do? Big one. Big one? Go large. We're gonna just let that cook away. Three or four minutes either side, cook it through. No one likes a medium rare McRib. Oh, look at that colour! Oh, bop, 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 bop. Boom. Last step is the barbecue sauce, and don't forget, sweet baby Roy's, not sponsored, uh, barbecue sauce, pan, wooden spoon, we're just gonna heat it through. Boom. <coughs> smells like, smells like America, and that's quite generic. Oh. Spoony spoon. Mix it up, it's not gonna take long because the sugar content in there, we're just gonna warm it through and that is gonna cling. It's gonna hug, it's gonna cherish those porky meat patties. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I present to you the NASA inspected copyright patent pending McReb, McReb <laughs> dunking station, AKA mixing bowl. We take our warmed barbecue sauce, oh my gosh. So that's all in there. I'm gonna dunk our patties in there, and that barbecue sauce, as I say, it's gonna clean. So, I've got my roll ready. It's kind of like the X Factor judges houses. This one's too thin, too small, this one's too, a little bit too fat, but this one is my favorite one. So we're gonna lift it up. Oh. 
in it goes. Turn it over. Take your time. Looks amazing, right? The cooler the pork is as well, the more it will actually cling and grip to the patty as well. So you kind of want a little bit of that. If it's too hot, it will run straight off, but it's bite into it because it's stood out there for a couple of minutes whilst we warm the sauce up. Here we go. Lid off. Oh, sit in there. Oh, had a bit of a Titanic moment. Yes. Actually, we are making the Titanic. Look, we've got the funnels now. We're going for it. They're literally Jack and Rose on the front doing the thing. And I never understood this with the McRib, but we've got some raw onions right on top. And then our lid, boom. I'm well happy with this. Here we go, let's, uh, let's give it a try, a whirl. I've made one for Tim as well, I don't feel bad, honest. Mm. All I can say is, sweet baby Roy. That is sensational. I'm like, I get a muck emotional. I don't know what to say. I wanted to try it, it gets you out of trouble, unless obviously there's a McDonald's near you, you just go get one, can't you? But five ingredients, six or seven with a salt and pepper, done. Hope you like this style format, it's just a bit of a play. If you really like it, we'll maybe keep it going, we'll see what happens, but for now, I'm gonna make them up rib. If you try it, send me a picture. Um. Okay, okay. Mm. <laughs> Check your level player, no matter what your style, the kitchen for me, Simon's mustache, goatee, maybe all three. 